I'm so excited. I, I can only imagine how it feels for you to know that this back to school haircut drive, which is, you know, one of your top events. This was actually the first thing I had uh, ever learned about the Larry Himmel Neighborhood Foundation uh, in covering this back to school haircut drive. So tell me, uh, share with our viewers, let's say, uh, how it works. Yeah, and like you said, I mean, it's been such a difficult uh, period, 15 months for kids, and so we're really excited to, to, to bring it back. And so essentially the way it works is a, there's a barber college called the California Barber and Beauty College on El Cajon Boulevard, and we partner with them. And this, this is an amazing space where you can get – there's 40 to 50 essentially stalls where people can get their hair cut at a time. And so these are people that are – well qualified, learning to become barbers to go out in the workforce. And one of the things is they need hours to go out and do that. And so we invite every kid 18 and under to come down to to this college and get their haircuts on August 14th. And like I said, you can get 40, 50 at a time. And so we usually go through about 300, 400 kids. Not only do you get a haircut, you get back to school supplies, which obviously can add up really quickly and uh, free breakfast as well. So it's kind of an all around awesome day. And so, like I said, if you if you know of someone you want to come get your haircut, which, you know, makes the kids feel good, certainly going back into the school year looking good. Yeah. Tell me about uh, some of the stories from kids who show up and then, you know, maybe a little scruffy and they leave <laughs> ship shape. How, how are they uh, talking and just uh, handling the whole event? Yeah, I mean, you know, someone, the, the person who came up with the idea said, you know, I used to go to school and, and, and get made fun of because my hair would be all straggly and, and it's something small that maybe, you know, some of us are fortunate to not even think about, but, but certainly if you uh, can't afford it, maybe that's not at the, the, the top of your list, looking good going into the school year. And, you know, it can be hard for kids, middle school, high school, all around. And, uh, so, I mean, it, to see some of these kids come in and they, they, you know, they're a little nervous at first and then they get these, and these haircuts are, I mean, you'll have to see the pictures. You have to come back to the vet. These are like awesome haircuts, designs and the hair and fades. And it's not just like, Hey, next, next, next. I mean, they really go through it and, and, and boys and girls as well. So it's, it's really cool to see. Yeah. I think we do have some footage. I was hoping we were going to be able to see that as well. Um, before we let you go for people who, um, weren't lucky enough to know your dad or get to hear his stories firsthand. Why was it so important to you to create the Larry Himmel neighborhood foundation? Yeah. And I, I'm so cool that you, you asked that because, you know, my dad was a, he was awesome. He was here. He was San Diego for, for, he worked in the media business for 35 years and he passed away from cancer and, and about six years ago. And so we just wanted to try and keep his memory going and do these stories. And, and so that's why we started this nonprofit is just, he had kind of the energy sucked out of him when he got cancer. And so what we want to do is continue his legacy. And I always say my goal is one day I want someone that's never heard of my dad. Maybe it's one of these kids in a, in getting their haircut to go, who was Larry Himmel? And I could say, well, let me tell you about him and stuff. So we're just trying to keep his legacy going. Man, that is beautiful to hear. Um, truly, the apple did not fall far from the tree here, <laughs> my friend. So how can folks get involved? How can we as San Diego help support this great cause? Yeah, so if you go to Larry Himmel, H-I-M-M-E-L dot com, um, you'll see it. You'll see a tab, Back to School Haircuts. And we're just looking, we're a nonprofit, 501c3, uh, you know, totally uh, uh, nobody takes any money. It goes all right back into the community. And we're just looking for donations because we buy the school supplies. Um, we buy, uh, you know, some of those snacks and things like that, just some of the things to put on the event. So if you could throw a few bucks our way and, and again, to help some of these kids and get those school supplies for especially some of those who really need it, that would, uh, that would be great. I love it. The legacy of Larry lives on fiercely. Miles, thank you so much for your time tonight. Thanks, Ginger. Thank you.